Hey everyone, welcome to the start of another project. Here we have what I believe is Emma's Theater School. This is set number 41714 and it contains probably roughly over 1100 pieces. And I don't think we need these today, but these are part of the build. So, uh, the build is broken down into several portions, so... And yes, we are going to have to put all that on. So, we have one, two... And then we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I'm thinking about breaking this thing down and just to twos. Just do two bags. We'll see. And let's note the time. It is 1.18 in the morning. So without further ado, let's get going here. I'll open this up. And this time I'm using a different type of container. No, it's not a pick a brick up. I wish. I have yet to ever been into a Lego store, let alone see a pick-a-brick wall or a pick-a-brick cup. I would love for somebody to send me a pick-a-brick cup just to say I have one. <laughs> okay, so we are going to be doing bags one and two in this installment. And looks like we are going to have to put together one of our cast. I'm trying to think of what her name is. I got the box here. And is that Felix? I don't know. It doesn't have the man bun. There's more figures in here than this. But I guess that's it. Well, let's start putting things together. In fact, I don't even see her on the box. I don't know what her name is. So, we'll have to figure it out. I wish they'd put the names in the book. She's got that nice coral dress, too. And, yeah, I'm not really a fan of figure dolls. But, yeah, it's something. It's something to do. Let's see here. Yeah, she's got her hair up in a bun. And I think I read the wrong set number. This is actually set number 41714. And I was reading the wrong box here. So this one's actually Andrea. So, my bad. This I think this is Andrea's theater school. Uh, you know, these are unscripted. So if you're, you know, some people get a little angry because I don't script them. Well, that's... Uh, <laughs> That's on them. Um, let's see here. So, let's see. Let's get going. Oh, yeah. Usually the very first step, we got to put a sticker on. I guess that's to get the kitties happy. And I had one person complain that they were getting seasick because I kept bumping into the tripod. Well, that's another benefit of these. Oh, I can't wait to put these in. We'll be looking for little accessory pieces. Okay, so I don't really see the little notebook piece. And, you know, usually when I build my own mocks, I like to start with big stuff to get rid of it. That's why I do the furnishings last. I wish I still had people complaining about that, too. You know, why do you make furniture tutorials and stuff? Well, just to get them out of the way. They show it going on like this, but that would be backwards. So I'm going to put it on there the correct way. Because why would somebody be upside down? I think I got it. Okay. These little book pieces, yeah, I don't mind putting stickers on these because it's something we can use um, in its current state. And then she's got binoculars. And it's one of those early mornings again. Not as early. This is before bedtime. In fact, I should just call these before bedtime builds. 
So I got to find the golden binoculars. You notice I'm doing all accessory stuff first, you know, and you have to fumble through all the parts just to find it. So I think that's how it's supposed to be. So it's like a selfie stick, but with binoculars. So what she's supposed to do is just put that in her fragile little arm and pretty much, yeah. Well, if I can even get it in there. But Jay, you're doing it all wrong. Yep. I guess that's how it's supposed to be. You know, and one of the things I've noticed is when a few people have been watching these and commenting is, you know, about, you know, how things are done, you know, what's, you know, like if somebody's getting confused with something of the build, we can work through it together, you know. I never intended these to be more like an, a, a tutorial, but for some who are building these sets and they get confused, you know, I don't, I, I don't blame you. you know, if I was confused and thought I was doing something wrong, I'd like to see a little bit of a, an illustration on it. So that's kind of what these are going to be targeted for. That and ASMR stuff too. So that's what we're going to do. Keep them ASMR star. I don't really have any stories. We talked about the bad art experience, but I never took theater, so I can't just make something up. Nor I never try to take a piano course, too. Well, this piano was looking pretty good, except now we got to put this magenta on there. <laughs> like, oh, this is going to be a normal build. No, it's not a normal build. This is this just a stand-up piano? All right. And two rocker plates. And that's reddish-brown, so watch I put that in, it just completely just disintegrates, just vaporizes. When they're brown, I don't even take them off. Okay, so this is actually an organ. That's what this is. Alrighty. Now, I've said this before in a bunch of other videos, never really on this channel, but uh, I already read ahead in the manual, so if if you want to, if, if you really want to accelerate your experience, just read through the manual first, you know, for there not to be any surprises. And what I usually look for is if there's duplicates and such. Sometimes I'll miss misjudge things and stuff like that. So before you get out your professional sorting trays and open up bags and you know just take a breather, look through the manual and just kind of browse through all the parts. Now when I do the unboxings it's a little different. I just open everything up but I read through the manual before I start building. And we made two of those. And that's it. And I see more stickers already. And unfortunately, I really don't want to do it, is put it on that door. I've been wanting to collect more of those. So when I get done with the review, that is coming off. Because the door looks good just like that. But we have to sticker it up. We have to sticker everything up. Well, we obviously know what we're doing here. That's the bathroom. All right. Well, I guess I, got, I guess we're going to have to. I would have put that as a sign or something above the door. And I'm putting it on there crooked. Yep. Good old stickers. I don't mind paying a little bit more Lego for something that I don't have to put on. Yeah, you can tell that's just stickered. At least I didn't put it up there crooked. But I know the younger builders really love these stickers. We have a guy in our group that just... I like putting stickers on my parts. I'm like, not me. <laughs> to each his own. 
but not me. So this build is essentially designed to be kind of like a modular, where it's what I call a drop-in. This is meant to be dropped into a city. Now I haven't put it all together yet, so I've never seen it yet. So we're going to see what it looks like together as we build. So if you're here to watch the build or to doze off, well, either way, you know, you're fine. Okay. Medium nougat tile. And, you know, for this being a friend set, what's with the, uh, what's with the gray? So I think we're using these here to lock in the other ports. This thing's supposed to just swing out. And, yeah. These builds will get pretty slow. I forgot to put a plate up here. Well, we'll do that now. It was that sticker shock. Okay, looks like this is a very interesting way to make a toilet. And for those who like to make fun of how I pronounce that word, I guess I know how to spell it. And looks like we're look, looking for a 2x2 two two white plate on a white workbench. Or is it a 2x2? Two two? Oh, it's a set of 2x2s. Two Alright, well, it's a 2x2 two two in this. Taking that this goes in here. And the white tile goes here. You know, if they had this rounded, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Stick this here and just put two round tiles. Well, I can't even find the two by two tile. Well, we you know what we're going to have to do. Start eliminating parts. Oh, there it is. So, they make a piece now for this. Just imagine if those were rounded, it wouldn't be too bad, but it's too high up. You know, and I'm sure I could do a better job. Well, I'm not sure I know I can. So it goes right there. So right when you open up the door, yeah, right smack dab, you run right into that. Well, you know, I mean... I guess you can make it as sloppy as you want, huh? Alright. Got the toilet put together, then we have British brown or, or orange red, red orange, dark orange, I don't know. Uh, now, there has been a video circulating around on YouTube not trying to knock anybody down or, or out anybody out on this one, but telling younger people to do YouTube as a full-time job or to do Lego, you could do Lego as a full-time job. You know, I'm sorry to say this, but you're ruining the hobby for everybody. Because if you're going to make this a job, you may as well just work a 9 to 5. But to each his own, right? And I mean, I couldn't believe somebody saying how to do Lego professionally. How to be a professional Lego builder. You know, I mean, really, this is just for fun. I mean, some people want to do it professionally. I, hey, that's fine by me, you know. I'm not here to judge. But to say, hey, you can quit your day job and do Lego full time. You, know, you don't want to do that. I'm not a fan of these wall elements. But to put them in here, to give yourself a little extra clearance is always a good idea. And I've done this with my travel trailers and such. It just buys a little extra space. So just imagine if you have these sitting in here. If you had these, you know, just bricks, you only have four studs. Here you have about five and a half. A little bit over five and a half. Okay, I think this is the base of the stage. 
So the goal tonight is to finish up the base. We'll see how well we're doing, because I know I started 1.20 in the morning, and here it is 1.33. Maybe some time edited out if I cough or sneeze. I don't want to do that in anybody's ear, so. Well, so far this build, yeah, it's, we're just starting, so I can't really set a baseline on it yet. See you know, how good it's going to be. Well, there's another door on this side, but it has been it hasn't been violated, so we're okay with it. it hasn't had been tagged with stickers. This time I'm gonna remember to put that on. Okay, and then the star piece for the star piece for Pokemon Go. No, the star piece for <laughs> uh, the, the, the little door handle. There it is. Well, that door actually goes all the way in. And then this goes here. So you'll run right into that stud there. <laughs> yeah. We haven't finished it yet, so we don't know what the uh, designer is planning here. It's like trying to decipher what's going on. And I'm starting to get a little behind on doing building instructions, mainly because of my day job, but also because of this. Because basically what I'm doing now is um, working on the set builds. You know, honestly, right now I could be building a tutorial. You know, I got a couple of ideas that I need to focus on, but when these are on deadlines, I'm just like, you know, rushing to get them done and that kind of thing. And I wish they give us these a month early so we can build them and do a better assessment instead of trying to rush through everything. So, we were talking about this in our Discord group. You know, about what's considered a drop-in set. Like, what is a drop-in? Anything that you can put into your city that you don't have to modify. Okay. Like, my mocks, for example. Like, my travel trailers. You can just drop those in. You don't have to really do anything. You don't have to really try to remodify and they just drop in. Versus like a building, like I'll do building, um, what, are the, what are those things I call building exercises where it's just a portion of a build. Those are not drop in. They're, they're essentially what they are. It's just an exercise. We've got two different colors there. I wonder what that's about. And I hope I am not coming down with anything. Everybody that I know of is getting this nasty head cold or COVID. It's hard to say what it is. And I just hope it is not me because I've told everybody, I said, don't get me sick. i got to work. i got things to do and just like this. And honestly, that would have been better if that was red. Now well, that goes. Indeed, it does. And then you just drop it in here. Okay, I see how that fits in. And these sets are good for inspiration, so if you ever want to expand on these, you could. I've said that a, I've said that a dozen times already about various friend sets. You can get away with using or borrowing ideas from one of these just to enhance your own builds. OK, 
Okay, I was like, what are we doing here? So these go in the middle. Not that middle, the other middle. And yes, we are hitting 100 already. So, the old AC is going to be working non-stop this summer, I have a feeling. I know folks back east, they always complain about the snow and running the heaters all the time. Out here, I think I ran my heater maybe like three times. Um, at night it gets pretty cold, but if you get the heat from the daytime, the house always stays warm throughout the night. And we are going to have to put a sticker on that. I got plenty of black tiles, so... Not a rehearsal in progress. Well, well, that thing does not want to get a sticker put on it, and I don't blame it, but we have to. There we go. That's a little crooked, but it is what it is. So they're making this thing look pretty fancy. We got these little scrolly things. I use these for Santa sleigh. Lego did and I did. We just used them in different locations. I use these for part of the skis. I know Mr. Tile, it's depressing. We got a sticker on you, but well, we're just going to have to live with it for a while. And this goes here. Well, there we go. Okay, let's get this light more here so we can see more. I don't have a light coming this way, so... Uh, oh, okay, we're doing Technic this time. So let's set one of these. We need one of these just to make sure. All right. And this is pretty interesting how they did this in the book. They have different size of arrows here. Sometimes these arrows are kind of confusing. What I'm gathering is, this goes in the middle, so I would start with the middle first. And just put one on either side. Or just look at the next step. That's how you usually would do that. And then this plate goes on here. I'm assuming that's probably the stage lighting. Why don't you just have us put five there? It would have made more sense. Put that there and then put two more of these. Obviously meant for smaller hands. Because see here, they show it already done. And sometimes you can easily pass those up too. So That's the beauty about doing these live or recording reviews, re you know, the recorded reviews and stuff, because I can walk through it. Okay, so it's not lights. We just got to put more of these here. Okay. I wonder what's in here, though. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of curious. Okay, so this is a storage area. They show that this goes in here, and this gets folded down. And then it shows us with little musical notes that we're done. So I guess there's supposed to be a song that plays, like, thank goodness the sticker mayhem is done. So it's almost like building one of my RV chassis here. So we're almost done with bag one. It's asking me to use a one by four. Okay, there it is. The reason why I'm taking this out now, sometimes I'll even miscount things. You're supposed to put three here. 
I believe it just sits right here. And yes, it does. And we got a Technic nail. So before we commit to anything, we look right here, and you can see there it is. And the sirens are a wailing, so somebody must be breaking a traffic rule outside. <laughs> that doesn't fit in all the way. Do we need to put a bushing in there? Or is that just how it is? Yeah. And I believe there's more to this because this hangs out like that. Okay. I know there's a trap door that goes in here, but is there supposed to be something in that? Oh no, never mind. I thought maybe we were just doing something wrong, but no. So you're going to have to wiggle and jiggle that in. These doors don't quite line up. You actually see how it just kind of wiggles. So you want to start somewhere and just kind of wiggle it in a bit. But I'm glad at least some of you guys and gals watch these and get some benefit out of them. You know, especially with succulent, especially with that cactus that floats. Because even I was stuck on that. You know, that's how it is. And then... Uh, I never figured these would be a help to anybody. So if they help you with the build, hey, I I'm glad to hear that. Wasn't my intentions. But that's how it is. I have a bunch of these. I always think of these as for Star Wars, like the little hatch that comes down. And... So that keeps it from falling in. There's a tile that goes in the center. All right. And the hinge part goes over here. So I think what this does here Okay, I see what it does. So what it does, if you can even see that there, is that this rests on this angular plate. So that's what they're using that offset for from the plate. And then you have something that stands on there and you can just drop this thing down. It seems kind of stiff. Oh, it's hitting against the organ. I'll try that again. Okay, so that does work. And that is it for bag one. And this is all we have left. And here's a sticker sheet. And the reason why I'm showing that is to show you that, you know, we got to do some stickers. All right, that's bag two. Putting my spare parts in this professional sorting tray, a.k.a. my butter containers. And this is supposed to be something you put like leftovers and such. And yes, that container looks dirty, but that's actually clean. All right. So, let's see here. And let's throw the container on the floor. <laughs> All right. So we're doing her. What's her name? Uh... Freya. I'm pronouncing that right. So Miss Freya, I'm going to go ahead and start assembling your your person. Let's see if we can do that. And yes, you get a, you get a costume in here to a tree. So maybe this is going to be the, tr the talking tree videos. I don't know. And let's see here. I started at 120 and here it's 148. So... If I do, I may just go three or four bags. I don't know. We'll see how far we can get on this here. Um, and yes, that is a magenta trash can. Or not a magenta, coral. I've never seen this part in that color before. So, there you go. And i got to stop bumping into the tripod. 
I want to get to O'Felix. I think he's got a man bun, but I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, she looks like a little princess. Oh, a little princess will be in my parts bin. <laughs> what now? I always get a question asked after I do these. Jay, what do you do with all the friends dolls? Do you throw them away? And I'm like, no, I just put them in a container. Hair pieces are very useful. So take the hair pieces off, put the rest of it in a bin. And I know a friend of mine, he gets friend sets from bulk lots. And what he does is he just takes the mini dolls and donates them. Because he doesn't, he doesn't have use for them and such. Which is a good idea. It's better than putting them in the landfill. So if you don't want your little mini dolls, you know, hey, you know, donate them. Because then some uh, some other builder will be able to the, to enjoy them. All right. So I guess that this is where all the props are going to be stored at here. Is that what we need? So there we go, and it shows that it's stored in here. You know, on this stud here. So basically, what this is is a storage area. So far, this build I'm happy with the way it is. It's just this is the disappointing part but so far the way that this is this is pretty pretty good and they use this room right here this is a storage room so we got to find the broom and the umbrella so if you need umbrellas there you go it comes in the set Making sure we are still recording. It tells me how much memory is left on my camera too, and I need to start unloading things. So this goes in here. If you got big hands like mine, it's kind of tough to put those in there. And after that. Well, just sh I, I shouldn't have put the trash can in with the stuff. All right, I gotta pay attention more. And there's actually a space that goes in here. Let me pop that out. So, right when you open up the door, that's the first thing you're greeted is by the coral trash can. Yeah, I'm going to have to probably clean off my camera's memory. I have been filming so much stuff, mainly reviews. Uh, I really like to get back into those old tutorials. Still got to work on the campground. Uh, a lot of people don't watch the campground videos, but I sure get requests. Why don't you build a city instead? Well, I don't want to build a city. Okay, so we need to find one of these, the angular plate or headlight brick, whatever you want to call it, and the guitar, and I think the guitar just sits in like this. And that goes right here. So we're just building accessories for this. It showed that the back part was built, but what am I doing right now? I'm doing accessories. Now when I do the review on this, I'll probably drag everything out. Or just leave it as is. I don't know what this thing is here. Need another one of these. And... I need a gold stick. I think that's a three stud long stick. So before we get to all the big parts, we gotta do all the little stuff first. And then after that it comes with the holder. And some red thing. Oh I see it. That's oh this is the microphone stand. Okay, I didn't know what that was. Pretty simple. That goes. 
in here. Okay. I bet we got to put something there now. Yep, that's exactly what we're doing. Here's something I forgot to mention in the brick exploration is the witch's hat. You know, sometimes I just cannot cover everything in these sets. Some complain and go, Jay, you missed all this, you missed that part. Well, I'm just trying to get them done to try to do the reviews. Because this is like a bonus footage here. This is this is like the behind the scenes where you know how you see people do these reviews on YouTube, right? And they're all perfectly scripted. They don't have any problems or blemishes. And here you get a choice. You can watch the finished review or you can watch the the note taking review. I think we need this. Okay, we need to stick a gold stud in there. So I guess this is supposed to be like a mannequin's head. Like one of those, just like where you place a wig on or something. So that's what they did. It looks like a lamp. In fact, that'd make a great little lampshade. And then we st stick this on the top. Does that come off real easy? Okay, yes it does. And then after that... It just sits in the middle here. So it comes with a whole complete set of props, which is cool. And now we can start working back on the outside, the fun side. Because I want to get to the big stuff, not the little accessories. And I'm sure one could expand on this and make this massive. Well, they had to put a separate step for this one because it requires a sticker. And it's this one right here. I mean, we're sticker we are stickering it up here. Doesn't matter which way. Well, yeah, the note, the musical notes will tell me the way, huh? That one's kind of crooked, but... Yeah, well... I'm not a fan of those, so yeah. I don't really don't care about these, but I don't build castles and stuff, but it would be nice to hang on to those. It's kind of sad that the stickers get their own, their own little step. Now we're getting to the big stuff that I can see. want to see how the curtains work because it know it comes with fabric curtains I want to see how they pull it off how easy are those to open up you know I don't think that's going to be in this installment I don't know and more stickers I mean literally I mean yikes you got to put all that on there <laughs> inside of these and I need those pulling stickers out of those are a pain and I mean, really, uh, these look like normal clothes. Why would you put them in here? Well, I'm just holding my breath. Sorry, you can't see the torture. Because I have to make sure I get that in there really good. I really don't use black for anything, but 
Except for the door, we're just defacing basically stuff that I can care less about. Alright, so we're back around again. This thing, we're just flipping this thing around 20 billion times. So this is where all the wardrobe and stuff is at. And let me grab that out. I gotta put that on there. So how I usually do this is I just kind of don't even press it down, just kind of get it to work, kind of just tax and by itself. We don't need to help it right now. And then what I do is once I get it to where I want it, I just smoosh down the top and just roll it away from the part I was at. So just try to get all the air bubbles out of it. And there you go. You know, I mean, it's it's a sticker. I mean, I'm not going to say, yes, I got to do the fun stuff today. I bet these go on 2 by 6 flat tiles. Alright. And the next thing is for radiator grills. We're, we're about halfway we're, we're about halfway done with that sticker sheet and we haven't even gone through bag two yet. Just imagine if those were printed. I don't think there's really an efficient way that Lego could print inside these. I mean that's understandable. If you gotta put a sticker in, that's fine, but you know. Okay. Let me there we go. And the next thing is four jumper plates. Now, these are pretty good for having your minifigures attached to the floor. I've been starting to use a few of these in my own customs. Um, you know, the user can either finish it off or not. So this one now, we're going to have to stuff this chest with a bunch of stuff. And yes, that is a light purple chest. Um, okay, well... We're going to have to pack all that in there. That tiara, that wine glass. I mean, the works. And it's already 2 o'clock in the morning. So I'm thinking maybe just those installments would be fine. Now I'm just going to set this in here now. The reason being is it would be easier to place this stuff in now. So let's just start stuffing the goodies in there. I put the TR in there, the wine glass. I need to find a magic wand. I thought I saw one in here. I see the lipstick. <laughs> Alright, and then that purple thimble, which I think is probably a minifigures hat, like a top hat. So I guess what it does is it does this. Where the aliens were sucking her brains out. So you can do that, I guess. Well. Put that in there. And we got a sword. Not a fan of putting accessories in until the build's done. And then after that it's the is a skeleton head. We've seen that around here. And then close it. Well, I guess you cannot close it, huh? Well, how are you supposed to fit all that in there? I guess it's just supposed to sit like that. Yeah. That's how they did it there. It just stays open. They have that all neatly packed, and mine's just kind of thrown in there. You know, let's see here. I'm not going to spend a whole session packing in a chest. But I may have to. Well, at least it's kind of closed. <laughs> Alright. Well, at least we didn't put a sticker on that. 
Hmm. We've been doing it the Minecraft set way, huh? And I need some of those stands in white. I've been looking for these in white. Well, here they are. Right there. And then we got the purple wig. And the medieval helmet. First off, how does that even go in there? Well, yeah. Let's rip that off then. This is what we'll be messing with is the uh, accessories. That's why I'm always against these right when we're building. Okay. Alright, now we put some doors in, or door frames. Which way do these go? Does it really matter? I think this goes here. Okay. Well, there's not a lot of room to walk around all that junk in there. Just walk right in and you're gonna knock your knees on that. I don't know what these are for. It's almost like we need to attach something to the back of this. Alright, um, we actually got a duplicate set, we got a dupl duplicate set here, uh, build, so what I'm going to do real quick is build both of these, I think this is some kind of light, or, well no, it's got a wheel in it, but I'll have to show you when I get it done here. So, first things first, I got to find another one of these. All these big parts, and I'm still fumbling over the small stuff. Let me pick this up. It may be over here. Yes, it is. I got a bunch of parts all the way over here. And I'm still tripping over these nasty stickers. When I was a kid, our sets had stickers. You know, that was... Very few pieces were printed. And when I put stickers on, they were never straight. And that's still true to this day. And I lost the other one. Oh, there it is. So, both of these, we're going to build these in a mirror. Let's do a composite version of it. And... The reason being is, is to speed up the build so we don't spend all stream or all recording doing this. Okay. And there we go. And then I gotta make sure this is facing parallel with the, uh, with the table. Well, not that way. That's the way you don't want to do it. Hmm. Like that. And two regular Technic pins, not the friction ones. And we put two wheels in here. I first thought these were stage lights, but I think these are meant for the screen that's supposed to drop in the back. I'm just guessing here. And then after you're done building those, they go in here. So it goes like this. I'm not sure what these are for. So, alright. I don't like tearing up my manuals either. <laughs> um, angles. Let's see here. So now we're strengthening up this top portion. It's like, when are we going to start doing that? Because this is starting to get pretty out of alignment. And more stickers. 
on a two by three flat tile. Very rare for me to have these, and I got to deface it. Okay, which sticker? This is number six, and six is builder builder's place. Well, right now the only thing I'm doing is sticking place. Yep, waste of a good tile. And I have a feeling that the other one is going to be stickered too. This goes over here. They use that rotating thing. Like I was just working on the other side, and now it's like, oh, rotate. All right. I was like looking at that thinking, did I do something wrong? I'm missing some stuff. So, so far we're getting the interior done. We're at 210. I think I started at, yeah, I've almost been working for two hours. So I think we're going to break these down into twos. I like these, these type of tile, these plates. They just wish they were tile form too. Still got plenty of parts, so we can proceed on here. And I will never stop right in the middle of a of a build. And yes, I was correct. We do have to put another sticker on this one here. So this one here is Brockadilly Brockadilly Circus. Really? Well, the cuss portion is right, because I'm cussing in my head right now how much I'm defacing this whole thing. And it gets its own little step. Isn't that cool? Honestly, though, this would make a great little gift for a young builder who's into this, into theater arts. Uh, for an adult like myself, uh, it's just a good little... And honestly, these, these friend sets are good time wasters. That's what they really are. Just a time waster to build, you know. If you get this set for yourself, it's, you know, and if you're a guy, you can always change this up a bit. Matter of fact, the colors on this would make a great nightclub theme. All right, so... Things are going to get pretty fragile here. Let me raise this up. Because now we are adding something up here. So, yeah. I'd do four bags, but I think this would take about two hours, and I really don't want to stay up all that late and do this. And then some more door frames without doors. I got plenty of these in black. But black's pretty good for making skyscrapers. It just looks more modern. Alrighty. And two wall elements. I think there's something that just sits on the top if we're using these. this sticker came from. I think that came with this too. So we need to put four of these 
two by two jumpers here. So if you love stickers, this probably will be the set for you. That and the other one I reviewed, the, uh, oh, I don't know what it was. I have the box in here somewhere, the art school. That brought back all the bad memories. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what we're doing now. We're building some accessories. And we'll be using that foil sticker here in a second. So. What's that piece that goes in the middle? Oh, a holder? You don't give me two of these? This is it. It's obviously, I think it's the makeup thing. And putting stickers in these, I don't mind. You know why? I use these for dressers. <laughs> so, hey, I don't mind that at all. I don't, I'd rather put the sticker on a brown one that's all scuffed up, but. Let's see if I can get this one really straight. I've been on the lookout for foil stickers. Well, it's close enough for me. And I want to make sure there's no air bubbles in that whatsoever. So now there's your st sticker. I don't mind putting them on those. Now, if you got the little friends mirrors, always save these leftovers. I have a bunch of them. Just take a whole punch, punch out a few pieces, stick them in those mirrors. There you go. Metallic. Um, you have a metallic mirror. So you don't want to waste those. And these are regular. I thought these were uh, uh, the uh, neon color. Ooh. Uh oh, yawn monster. I think I'll wrap this up after this bag here. But honestly, though, this set does have a lot of inspiration, a lot of good ideas, just the colors and the stickers, but it does have a lot of good potential. You know? Let's see the. Uh, I see the the light at the end of the tunnel here, and we put the lipstick hanging in here. Don't you have to have to have a cover over that so the lipstick doesn't dry up, and you want to keep contaminants from landing on it? See, it's got these things right here. The light at the end of the tunnel. Probably it's like yes, you just had to put more stickers on. I'm going to leave, uh, this goes on the left hand side, but what I'm, well, let's make both of them first. And, well, I'm going to set up, this one goes on the left hand side, on this side right here, on the top. You can't see it, I'll show you in a bit. I just want to get this done real fast here. In fact, we have been building now for almost an hour. And I could do another bag real quick. Well, are we missing a part in here? All right, hold on. Uh, sometimes when I'm doing the uh, thumbnails, I put parts in the wrong bins. So, hold up, let me find one. Okay, I found it. Let's put that in there. And... I tell you, we're going to be putting more mannequin heads on there. So here's the witch's hat. This is just for props. And you also get a little t part of a tiger's wig, too. Too bad we don't have the rest of the costume with that. It would have been pretty cool. And 
And that goes on the right hand side. So back up here, you can see where I have this one. There you go. And continuing on with wall pieces. At least these are not stickered. We're almost halfway through the sticker sheets. So, so far, this set is pretty big. It's not skimpy or tiny or anything. We're running out of parts, so that means uh, I'll be heading to bed <laughs> So far, it's a pretty rigid build. It's pretty big. Pretty big. Okay, what's next after that? And we got to put magenta. I think that other 1x16 goes in this area here doesn't show it yet, so I don't want to place it in and have to rip it out. Okay. And then a couple of these with this going on the front. So I'm taking it, there's probably a top piece that just removes for playability. Okay, I was correct. And that is it. Now, um, we have a few extra pieces. Now, where did that nougat go? That could have kind of rolled around here. We got some extra swords. Let's see. Here, let me go back and browse through it. Like I said, when I write up the thumbnails, or when I do the thumbnail for the uh, brick exploration, I pour out a few bags at a time. All right, I see where that goes. And I think that belongs there. So now I got the tree back in there. You really can't see it. Oh, yeah, you can just a little bit. And when I said I found the piece, I grabbed one from my own bin. I wasn't sure. So I'll put that back in. Um, So this we don't need. And here is all the extra pieces that we have obtained from bag two. So you get an extra wand, a sword, and some other things. And we have bag three. I'm going to take a look at bag three. Let's see how gruesome this one here is. And if it's pretty bad, uh, probably won't deal with it. It doesn't tell me what bag three here is. It just shows bag three. So, bag three is, or I could just look at the bin, huh? Let's take a look here. I mean, that would make more logical sense. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that right now. So, I think we'll stop here. So, this looks pretty good. Um, let's take a quick look. Where's my, sti where's my sticker bookmark at? Okay, so, so far, this is where we're at tonight. We have got... The foundation, this is probably the back of the stage. Here's the front. And 
so far it's pr looking pretty good. It's not a hard build. You just got to follow the build, the building instructions. And we got ourselves two figures. We can just set these ladies up here and have them survey what's going on so far thinking oh my goodness when is this guy going to get our stage together and oh there's another lipstick just rolling around I forgot to mention it has a brick separator too so yeah uh, so far I think well what they say in show business that's a wrap and I think next time we'll do bags four and five and we'll see how far we can get but I think just building this for the night was is enough.